first knack knives and hopefully you guys have liked this new twist to knife reviews and uh, I'm not really sure why I never got around to this knife. I believe it was really because I have a bin for bushcraft gear that I don't really use anymore and I threw this in there years ago and totally forgot about it uh, until now and I really wanted to share you guys or share with you guys the Roach Belly by Cold Steel just because I feel like this knife is a really good knife that goes pretty underappreciated. It's especially really good for beginning bushcrafters and hopefully you guys, like I said, haven't seen that nice little uh, just overall test that I did with this. Uh, this was actually the first time I've ever batoned this knife and when it got to that really tough point, if you guys couldn't tell, right toward the end there was a knot right here and uh, it was really stuck up on that knot. This knife is very thin as the dimensions I showed you guys. It is quite a thin knife. It's around the same size as a Mora. And I'm going to bring a Mora in for comparison here in a little bit. But it is a very thin knife, um, less than an eighth of an inch. It's right around a tenth of an inch, so it's not the best for batoning. But as you guys can see, uh, even this being a non full tang knife, it was very tough and went through this knotted and it should we know this is birch wood here or regular old uh, paper birch uh, all around here is what we have. So that is what all the testing has been done on uh, and so this stuff is pretty tough wood. So I was really unsure with that batoning but I do know that this is a very tough knife and uh, yeah now so, I'm going to talk about how my use has been with this knife and kind of why this was one of the first, uh, or was ended up as my first neck knife. So I, I've i always liked kind of unheard of and not extremely popular knives. The Mora for beginning bushcrafter is a very obvious choice and that's cool and all, but I really did want to experiment with some other knives and just see what all is actually out there other than the Mora. So when it came time, I definitely thought about the Mora uh, companion and stuff, but I really liked this Roach Belly, and moreover, I really liked the Roach Belly uh, by Cold Steel because of this upswept point. Uh, one thing that I think is pretty unique about my angle with knives is I always place a heavy emphasis on the capability as far as dressing game. I don't really see that with a lot of other reviewers, uh, but I do place a large emphasis on the ability to actually process game and process food out in the wilderness which is a very important thing um, you'll have to do it at some point so that's why I do put such a heavy emphasis on it and this knife uh, in my opinion is a little bit better at dressing game than the Mora just due to the fact of how it has an upswept belly here and overall this is definitely a more hunting geared knife but it also is more of a traditional knife. Of course the Roach Belly, if you go do research, was one of the traditional styles back in the 1800s of trade knives. So it really is a good all-arounder design and that was another thing that really attracted me to the uh, knife. As well, another thing other than the historical design, I really did like the weight of this knife. The weight and feel are very good with this knife. Uh, it is an extremely lightweight knife. It's much like the Mora in that fact because once again, it's not a full tang knife and it is once again like the Mora very thin. So it shares a lot of properties like with the Mora. About this Mora. I do want to roll in the first Mora I ever got and that is the Clipper and that's what you guys see here. Uh, and once again, like I said, in many aspects it is very similar in overall size. I apologize for all these mosquitoes. But in overall size, the two are very similar. The Roach Belly is just a hair longer. Um, it's actually kind of funny because when you look at it, you think the Roach Belly has a longer edge on it or a longer blade and a longer edge. But because the Mora's blade starts right at the handle's end, it actually is a little bit longer. So there's the two side by side. If you guys can see that. Once again, I really do like the Roach Belly a little bit more because I feel it's more capable for game dressing and really in most of the tests, most aspects, I find the Roach Belly to be just as durable. Of course, being that this knife isn't full tang, um, this knife will not be able to be pounded through the most hard of hard uh, woods and through the most thick of things. You also 
do want to be careful with Batania just for the fact that it's so thin that, as you can see, it is very hard to actually pound this through wood just for the fact that it's so thin. It doesn't really splay the wood out as you go along. Uh, and that was another problem I kind of ran into when you guys saw the uh, splitting test, or the batoning test rather. But other than that, other than its uh, kind of batoning deficiencies, the knife is really a lot like a Mora. It's really a lot like the Mora that no one's heard of or that no one really uses. And that is kind of unfortunate because, like I said, I really do like this knife. It is very capable. Um, but overall, guys, that is the first neck, my first neck knife, and I really love it. I still now am kind of getting back to occasionally using it. Of course, I do have a lot more expensive knives that uh, definitely beat this knife in pretty much every aspect. Um, the steel is also not as good as the Mora. That is probably the one place where it wins. Uh, unless you go to the stainless steel, uh, where they're pretty comparable once again. Uh, but the carbon definitely wins in edge retention, and this is a carbon over here. Um, but if you go to stainless, they are nearly identical in all performance. Just different blade oh, shape dislikes. Uh, and where it differentiates itself from the Mora is one in the handle, if you guys couldn't tell this is a hard plastic all the way around unlike the Mora where it has more of a rubberized plastic here this is completely hard plastic and so you can see it could have the potential to be a little slick uh, another thing I really dislike is these jimpings uh, I really do dislike jimping on any knife that's around one tenth of an inch or less just for the fact that once you get this thin Adding jimping is almost like having serrations on a knife because there's just so little uh, steel here or stock that it really digs in. And so these jimps here are pretty much unusable and it makes this area right here pretty unusable. And you'll notice when I do hold this knife like this, I actually don't go to the jimping, but I hold it up here because this is, like I said, pretty much unusable. So the other part is, due to the fact that this is stainless steel, uh, and the fact that this is not a straight 90 degrees, this does not strike a ferro rod very well. But once again, that's a lot like the uh, Mora. The Mora is no better. Um, you know, this cannot strike a ferro rod pretty much at all. So, it's a lot like the Mora in that fact, but it should be noted. This one seems to be a little bit, uh, this probably feels almost like an 70 degree angle you guys could see how easily I was able to uh, strip away the outer bark or the cambium layer of this birch bark so it is semi sharp but not sharp enough to efficiently strike a ferro rod guys hopefully you've enjoyed that and learning about another knife that is a lot like the Mora in price range and durability in pretty much every aspect uh, the cold steel roach belly is very much like it but like I said, with a more traditionalized design of blade and a, uh, a design that, once again, in my thoughts, is better at dressing animals. I have dressed a handful of animals with both of these, and I find this one more capable. So I'm not just all talking and what it looks like. This is actually my personal user experience with it. And it has been a really awesome knife over the years. Once again, I haven't used it too much since I first got it. Uh, but overall, when I have used it, I've always liked Guys, it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And tell me your thoughts on what you think about the Roach Belly versus the Mora. And if you guys have any experience on the Roach Belly, definitely let me know uh, your thoughts on it. And I'm out.